What is up you guys? It is Katya Bulks. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to quite an anticipated video for me to make because this has literally been a year in the making. So many of you may know or many may not know because welcome. Hi, if you're new, my name is Katya. I really, really, really like nut butters, like so much. All my friends know it. They only ever see that on my story of me eating nut butters every day. So I wanted to take it upon myself to find out how much I consume and compare it to whatever, you know, the Google averages for Americans or whatever. So you saw it in the thumbnail and that is every single jar from 2019 of nut butters I consume. So that goes from, you know, peanut butter, almond butter, cashew butter, some mixes and weird ones like watermelon seed butter. So what I did, I like have it all on paper right here, but I calculated how much of each I consume from like, you know, ounces and pounds, and then calculated the total for the entire year, as well as the calories from each of them. So here's a lot of them for just some examples of what I have, but let's get into the numbers right now. So as for total, peanut butter, I kind of split it up differently. I had like peanut butters, peanut butter mixes, so meaning like I have some peanut, like I'll show you guys. So there's like the Legendary Foods peanut butter cup, so it's like a flavored one, and I felt like I just would differ those, but peanut butter alone, I consumed 175 ounces of plain peanut butter. For anything mixed with peanut butter, 112 ounces. That comes out to 287 uh, 0.4 ounces, which is equivalent to about 18 pounds of peanut butter alone. As for almond butter, I consumed plain almond butter, about 80 ounces, and for anything that was kind of an almond butter mix, 64 ounces. So that comes out to a total of 144 ounces, which is equivalent to 9 pounds of almond butter. Sunflower seed butter, I consumed 32 ounces, which is also 2 pounds. Cashew butter, 42 ounces, which is 2.6 pounds. And for anything that was a random mix, like the hazelnut butter, um, watermelon seed butter, just weird ones like that, I consumed 60 ounces. And that comes out to 3.75 pounds. So, the total I consumed was 565.4 ounces, which comes out to 35.33 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> so I then next Googled, of course, what is the average amount of peanut butter that an American eats? So I couldn't find the average nut butter, but I feel like if the majority would go for peanut butter anyways, it's equivalent. But it said on Google, Americans eat about three pounds of peanut butter a year. You guys, I just ate 11 times more peanut butter than the average person. What's wrong with me? I don't know. But I feel like you guys are also gonna be asking, Katya, how many calories is that? <laughs> I did the calculations for you. So I wanted to also calculate then what my year average calorie was, cause you know, sometimes I'll kind of go up, sometimes I go down and my calories, it depends. But I average out to about 1,900 calories, which comes out to 300, and 93,500 calories. Or no, wait, I totally just said that wrong. 693,500 calories in an entire year. Peanut butter total. I consumed 48,394 calories of peanut butter. I consumed 22,961 calories of almond butter. 7,444 calories of cashew butter. 5,952 calories of sunflower seed butter and 9,302 calories of any other weird mixed nut butters, which comes out to 94,053 calories of strictly nut butters. And the percentage of nut butters to my total calories is 13%. I mean, it may seem low, but if you're considering that I eat, I don't know, maybe like 20, 30% of my diet is like peanut butter, or like, <laughs> I mean fats, 13% is strictly from nut butters because of course there's fats and other things like whether it's bread and it's like two grams, it still adds up. But that just shows how much I freaking consume versus the apparent three pounds per year. 
So yes, I collected all this and if you're wondering what I'm gonna do with it, I'm, it's gonna go all into the recycle. I only did it for 2019. <laughs> I don't need to do this again. That would be crazy. I'm not trying to like beat my average. I just wanted to see me, Katya, who always adds nut butter on everything. How much do I actually consume? And also, that does not include powdered peanut butter, powdered almond butter, and any kind of cookie butter. So if you added that into the equation, it probably would be more as well. But I didn't, I just strictly did like the plain peanut butter. Um, <laughs> yeah, and after that, I didn't calculate how much I spent as well because some of them were like either on sale, buy one, get one free, it bought for me. So it would have been too hard to calculate how much I actually spent. Um, but in other words, or what in other words, but yeah, my next thing I wanna do actually is try to make my own. I don't know if that's gonna be a next video or one after the next video. I may have a supplement review for you guys next or a workout video, but yes, that's how much I consumed. Crazy, I know. How much do you guys consume? How much do you guys like nut butters? Or am I just like the nut butter queen? I don't know, but this has been a fun experiment. It's time for these to get all pushed to the recycle, but if you did enjoy this short synopsis video of my year, of nut butter consumption, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, join the family. Click the subscribe button down below. Let me know what other videos you would like to see. Like, what if I did just like an eating challenge of nut butters? I don't know. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Maybe I'll do that for my birthday or just some other kind of event. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, it's been quite a 2019. Let's kick off 2020 with more nut butters. So. Go rock on. I love you guys. Go get those gains. Yeah. Bye.